Thanks, Mike. It may be a little town, but it has a lot to offer. And this weekend, it was the place to be for thousands who came to witness the Micanopy Fall Festival. TV20's Chris Gilmore shows us what had so many falling from Micanopy's small town charm. As we're all in the same boat these days, everybody looks forward to just getting away, and this is a place to go to. The Micanopy Fall Festival attracted visitors like Citrus County's Frank Romanelli and thousands of others wishing to experience a slice of Southern living. Just a short drive south of Gainesville, you'll pass the town of Micanopy, but don't blink. The historic town of one square mile and one traffic light is easy to miss. The 38th annual Fall Festival, more than 40,000 people expected in attendance, more than 300 vendors, and all taking place in the less than one square mile of this historic town district. The only thing that's not in a short supply is a good time. Vendors came out to sell everything ranging from sauces to soaps and scented candles and yes, even Santa Claus gourds. Food vendors provided festival favorites of kettle corn and funnel cakes while musicians filled the air with sound. It's all a part of what keeps some artists like Alan Trainer, inspired to continue working creatively. They appreciate nice things too, you know. You don't find that in every town in Florida. Some people have different tastes and styles, but uh, people really enjoy looking at the work here. If you haven't been here, make sure you make a trip here and, right, and you, make it a point. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News. Preparations are already underway for the 39th annual McNobie Fall Festival, which will take place October 26th and 27th of next year.